golf now. Top of the morning to y'all. I am just waking up. It is 8.51. I was supposed to be up at 7. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. Um, and I'm deciding to do a spend the day with me because this is going to be a really, really busy day. I'm going to go ahead and put in my contact lenses so I can see a little better and get my day started. First thing that's going to happen today is um, my number six, she is wanting us to come over for a brunch. All of my LSs that are just in town on or, you know, visiting or whatever, whoever can make it. So super sweet of her that um, starts at 11 and she lives in Arlington. So I'm going to go over there, obviously. Um, the last time we, a few of us got together, we uh, were at my place, actually. My number three and six were over here. We went out for Founders Day, really light night. It wasn't anything like, you know, to write home about, but it was really fun. And we came back to my place because it was so cold. It was like during the winter freeze type um, of time. So we came back and we just like hung out for a bit and um, I made popcorn and I put in these little popcorn bowls. I'll show you guys when I'm on the way out the door. And when I handed Tiana her popcorn bowl, she kind of made a little noise like, Ooh, like it was like really cute that she thought it was cute. So I got her four of them because she has a new place too. Her and her husband moved into a new home in um, Arlington. So I'm going to go and like just a little token of like, hey, you know, welcome to your new home. So yeah, hopefully she liked those. I'm going to brush my teeth. Hang on. Okay, all done. So next thing I need to do real quick is take down my braids. So I've been having uh, this braid down in my head because I've been like wearing like, different wigs for like the last, I don't know, like three weeks to a month or so, but past the brunch that I'm gonna go to at 11, I have two other events today that I really, really want a slick back ponytail for. It would be easier to keep my hair like this, but I don't know. Sometimes a girl wants what she wants. But the thing about it is, I am kind of like running short on time. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. And um, if I can't start and finish the slick back before brunch, at least I'll be to the point where um, my hair is taken down, like the braids are taken down. So when I come back from the brunch, I told myself I'm gonna have to give myself a cut off of like 2 p.m. because the next thing starts at six. So I need to come back, be able to slick down my hair, be able to like let it dry. I mentioned in one of my other videos, like, yeah, I know I can sit under a dryer or blow dryer, but I kind of like try to keep my hair away from heat as much as I can. So I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry and then be on time to the next event, which is like, um, it's like a, a elections type of like convention. It's like election period right now. So like, you know, councilmen, congressmen and women, like just all the heavy hitters um, are gonna be at this event. I'm actually um, helping out one of my friends. He owns a media company with uh, two of his brothers. Shout out to Three Kings Media House. Um, so he asked me to come along and kind of like work the room and like, you know, pass out business cards and help them get business. So I'm going to go help out with that from six to nine. And then after that, another one of my friends, he finally, his birthday was this past week. So he's going to be celebrating his um, birthday today as well. So I'll end the night with that. So long day, like I mentioned. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can. And then like I said, if I need to break up the parts, I will. But once I really get the hair down, it's really like down, <laughs> downhill from there, no pun intended. Cause as soon as I get the hair down, like the slip back process takes me probably like, I don't know, like all of 20, 25 minutes. And then my line sister lives like 
call it 30 minutes away. So I'm just gonna get to working and see how fast I can go and move from there. taking down my hair first of all y'all i really want to say my hair smells and feels so good i'm not sure if y'all saw that like homemade hair mask that i make um i have another video on my channel you can go find it but i would really really encourage y'all to do that mask and do that mask monthly too i'm gonna do another one since i'm gonna do this slick back um with all that like gel and got to be glued and all of that I'll do another mask because my hair feels so good for real. I wish y'all could feel it. It's like so soft. And it's like very like, I didn't lose a lot of hair too. I feel like that, that hair mask is really good because like it helps with retention as well. It just helps like retain your hair so you can actually see like the growth and progress like month after month. So I'm very satisfied. Um, it is now 9.45. Like I said, I have to be at the thing at 11, which I think I can make. Cause I only need like 30 minutes to do this style. So that would be 10, 10, 15, hurry up and rinse off. Put something on that's like comfy or something like that and just like head over there. I should, I should be on time, but I'm gonna run through this. Um, I also have the slick back um, process on my channel as well. So just using got to be glued, um, this type of got to be glued, the ultra glued invincible styling gel. Um, what else do I need? Um, a little bit of this, it's the defining styling gel, coconut and hibiscus shea moisture. And I'm gonna use some of this as well. Eco Styler, um, Professional styling gel it has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and black seed. Hair back. But if you want to see the full process, like I said, there's another video on my page already. Um, you can go check that out to see how I attain like a slick back pony. But I'm <laughs> slick back under here and just wanted to go brunch with my line sisters nothing too heavy about to put on a jacket grab tiana's gift and just be out the door it ain't gonna kill me then when i come back i'll pick out the rest of my outfits and like put on makeup and stuff like that so y'all we are here i think it's this house right here perfection <clears throat> all right let's get out of the car got my little knees right here this thing then like i just hate when stuff like breaks last minute my little thing is just like fell off. Okay. A little gift. Like I said, it's like a little popcorn, clear popcorn containers, and I know she's gonna love it. <laughs> All right, I would do like the get out of the car, then come back and get the phone and stuff like that, but I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> I'll be back. Come in. Hey. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful in here. 
The hostess with the most is. I'm proud of these. So cute. Got the bacon. Yes, ma'am. That's spinach, cheese, quiche, uh, quiche. Oh. Obviously, no, it's it's not banana, like and all the condiments. Yes. <laughs> it's like a little strip. Where? That's all I was looking for. Uh, let's see. Cheese is right there. Or you can just pop it too. Okay. Thank you. Thank yep. you. You know how you have to help the baby start the little <laughs> present. <laughs> How the baby start wrapping the present. Oh, it's a twist one. Oh, you see that? Oh, nothing crap. Golly. <laughs> Put your back into it. Come on. This is mine, too. I don't know why. All right, here we go. Do you see one or We use both. Woo! Yeah, turn up. Okay, I want a little. I want champagne with a little splash of mango. Just mango. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we had a we had a dropper. Like uh, yeah. yeah. How to make the perfect mimosa? So start with the champagne. I'm gonna let the bubbles kind of hit the top of the rim. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. Yes, that should be good. Yeah, this is my well, She don't have to put it all the way to the top. You need a little bit there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's so perfect. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Literally. Yeah. 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 underneath the tail part is not like falling off because you know you have to kind of like dig that dirt, dirty hair out. Hey, I am just leaving my Linky's house. It was so good. The food was so good. Fellowship was so good, all of the above. So I'm gonna go home now and um, start getting ready for my next event, which is kind of like a convention for like, you know, like the whole elections time that's coming on, all the councilmen and the congressmen and women and stuff like that. They're all going to be having an event and like the VIP event starts at six. So I'm gonna go home. I probably like, I have this big old box from Shein. I think I might like, record an unboxing video while I do that because like some of the items in there I'm gonna like put together for my outfit tonight for my other friend's birthday party so I think I might do that get ready take another shower do my makeup finish my hair and then yeah get on about the day I'm a little worried about the weather um, it's not cold but it's windy and the wind chill is a little bit like iffy. So my outfit, and I'll show you guys when I get home, my outfit for this second event, it's like, it's like a suit. It's like a, a suit dress, kind of. And it's long sleeve, which helps the case, but I'm thinking I can still wear it and then um, just put like a pea coat over it. Cause I, I haven't had a chance to like wear that. I saw it and it was like super cute. Got it from ASOS. So I got it, but I hadn't got a chance to wear it. So I was like, you know, this would be the perfect opportunity slash event to wear it to. So I'm probably gonna end up wearing that and just putting on a coat, like I said, and then I have to pack up my outfit for tonight and I'll probably just change at his place and then just come down to the party. So that's the plan. I've actually been um, doing this, uh, this like 365, days in the word so I'm a couple days behind <laughs> so my car rides I typically um, just play the Bible honestly because it's it's a great way to you know multitask and um, I'm an auditory learner anyway so I'm gonna let y'all listen to a little bit of the Bible with me <laughs> Proverbs 18 an unfriendly person pursues selfish ends and against all sound judgment starts quarrels. Fools find no pleasure in understanding, but delight in airing their own opinions. When wickedness comes, so does contempt, and with shame comes reproach. The words of the mouth are deep waters, but the fountain of wisdom is a rushing stream. It is not good to be partial to the wicked and so deprive the innocent of justice. The lips of fools bring them strife, and their mouths invite a beating. The mouths of fools are their undoing, and their lips are a snare to their very lives. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. 
one who is slack in his work is brother to one who destroys now i'm in my closet because i'm about to do an unboxing session i got a big old box from shein and the move that i'm gonna have tonight some of the stuff that's in here i might want to um you know wear so some options in here that i'm gonna wear i'm gonna wear this to that next thing obviously i have to steam it this is from asos it's like fourth and reckless tall size six so i think i'm just gonna rock this maybe with if i was really about that life i'll put this and this together but i'm not trying to be uncomfortable so i'm not gonna do that so I'll probably just like throw these on and just be comfortable and probably put on a pea coat because it's not really that cold outside, but it's it's really windy. Really, really windy. So I'm gonna end up wearing this. But I wanted to open up this box and let y'all know what I got from Shein. What the options are. Um I don't think I'm gonna try on every piece, but I'm gonna at least show y'all what I got because I am a little crunch for time like I always am sorry the lighting's not the best thing here but I'm not I'm not tripping on it if y'all not tripping I'm not tripping I like to open up like boxes like this in my closet so I can remind myself of how much I already have and that I probably shouldn't be shopping but I'm still shopping <laughs> it is what it is though okay so first things first I got this little set it's giving like school girl cholo type vibe and i really think it might be cute on Ooh. really comfy flowy um again all this stuff is from shein i feel like you can like pair something like this with this and just like have it be like a really really chill vibe ordered just gonna like lay everything right here then up next i got this um camo skirt so really cute again. I think this could be paired with a lot of stuff. Um, what can I like reach right now? Ooh, that could be cute. That could be cute. Brown inside, but it would need like be a long sleeve though. Ooh. That could be a cute little vibe. But anyway, got this uh, camo skirt. I've been needing a camo skirt. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but all my skirts and stuff it's like down here and i don't have anything camo so i saw this once to add to my closet and thought this could be like a good uh vibe for tonight this again i feel like this and this combination can really go so that's that what else did i get i got this long kind of like maxi skirt Again, I'm 5'11", so some of the things that are meant to be maxi or long is really not long for me. But it comes down, you know, quite a bit. It's just like a, you know, maxi skirt still. It's not floor length, but it comes like mid-calf. I feel like stuff like this makes the booty look good. So I saw it. It was nice, um, affordable. So I was like, just throw it in the bag, huh? Okay, so... Let me see what we have next. Another skirt, cute little vibe. I felt like this would be cute to put like an oversized, like gray sweatshirt over with like um, a long sleeve white um, button down. So this is super cute. Kind of similar vibe to the camo skirt, but this one actually has shorts under it and the camo skirt doesn't, it's just a skirt. So I thought that would be cute to add to the closet. One thing about me though, I do have a lot of stuff, but I try my best not to like buy stuff that is similar to something that I already have. I really, really do like try my best not to do that. So we're trying people. We're trying, I promise. And then this is just a regular um, faux leather high shine skirt. Um, I have some high shine stuff in my closet already, but again, I was like, mm, just want some options. I feel like this would be cute to pair with maybe like a sweatshirt or something. I should have bought a sweatshirt really, cause it's kind of 
like I said it's not cold but it's kind of more windy than I thought it would be but tonight is just a house party too so by the time everybody gets in there um it's gonna be pretty probably pretty toasty in there so inside I'm not worried about it it's not like I'm gonna be like walking for miles to get to the house so I think I'll be okay I got this jumpsuit see what the back the back this is the back I feel like this would be really really cute it has like a little detail with the um, inward stitching or the outward stitching. And it's really, really soft. soft. And I think it'd be like really cute to like pull up somewhere, especially since it's like the winter time. So if I do end up going out anywhere, I feel like this would be a good option. I could even like pair it with like boots like this. This is what I was thinking whenever I first got it. Be like super tall show up with these boots some white shades and some a white purse i think that'd be cute so i was like yep why not okay so let's keep moving i got like 30 minutes till i have to start you know take another shower and like really really start thinking about getting ready because i have to be on time so the first thing but we run right along i got this cute shirt it says good things take time and then it has it bigger on the back. I thought that was really cute. So I was like, I need some like comfy tees. So got that. What else did I get? Got me a big old box. Got me a lot of stuff. Okay. This stuff. Let me see. Oh, this was like the, um, it's like a set. It's going to be really cute on. It's like a little two piece set. Like, you know how they like made um, business casual cute? And I think this is like the last one they had left. So I fell into peer pressure and it has a little skirt. I think it'd be really, really cute on. Especially like sometime in the summertime. That's, that's the key. I know y'all probably already know this, but sometimes you gotta shop opposites of seasons. When it's the winter time, you need to be shopping for summer stuff. When it's the summertime, you need to be shopping for winter stuff. That's how you get the most sales too. And then I got this top, got a lot of black and white stuff. This is really cute, little leotard type vibe. Super cute. What else did I get? It's a button. I'm gonna put in my little button jar. Uh, let's see what this is. It's another high shine. Looks like it's like an under boob type thing. So like, if you have like a cute top that you can put on, you put this on under it and then just like rock it like that. I think that's really cute. I could even do something like this with that. Huh. I'm gonna have to put an outfit together soon here. Okay. And then... This is like the last clothing item I got. So it's just this little relaxed white tee. Cause I, I noticed the other day whenever I, I think I was packing for a trip and I needed a white tee. Um, I think it was actually to put under something like this. Cause I like that look when you put like a, just a plain white baggy tee under something like this. Um, I realized that I didn't have a white tee, so I was like, dang, next time I shop, I need to make sure I get one. So it's just a white tee. All right, cool. And then I saw some like random lashes that I wanted to try out. And then I got, I re upped on some like nipple covers because I like, got Amazon. These are probably like, I don't know, $10, but on Shein, they're like 50 cents. <laughs> so then they give you like 100. Well, this one, they're 50 pieces each and they're like 49 cents. I'm like, eh, why not? Then I got some press-ons. I've been on my press-on game lately. Cause I've been giving my nails a break from like the acrylic nails. So I got these press-on nails. I saw them and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I've had this like whole collection. And then I got some more gold ankle bracelets. And what is this? More press-on nails. And then I did have to get these earrings. I thought they were really cute. 
they just have like a little bow it looks like a charcoal little stud up here and then the little pearls around so like this super cute i thought those were like really really cute okay and then if you know me you know i like to eat in my car <laughs> So I got one of these like wheel things. So I can put it on my wheel and actually have like a table and like somewhere like just right in front of me to put my drink instead of like the little car cup holder. I thought this was pretty cool. And I've been like having it on my to-do to list to get one of these. So I'm glad I got that. But that's all I got. Yeah, so now I'm gonna just steam this so it's ready to wear in like 30 minutes. And I'm gonna jump in the shower again, get ready. And I'm also going to pick out an outfit for the birthday party tonight and just see what I decide to go with. But that's it, on to the next thing. All right, y'all, so I'm on the way to my second stop of the day. It's like the little uh, conference or convention that I was talking about. Um, my outfit is super cute. You know, my closet hasn't failed me. My closet really hasn't failed me in a minute. Knock on wood, don't mean to jinx it, but my closet be hitting low key. So I had this little like, um, the thing that I showed y'all hanging up, I steamed it out. And yeah, it's just like the perfect outfit for the event, I feel like. So I'm gonna go work the room a little bit, um, help my guy out. Um, so yeah, and then after that, to go to another party another birthday party and then just like in the night there so heading there now i am a little late i am a little late i'm like 18 minutes late which is not good it's never good for me but like it's, it's okay it's not that that bad so i'm just focused on getting there safely and yeah that's it and having a good time <laughs> took the stairs so i'm a little out of breath i need to, i need to get to the gym but anyways i have all my stuff in here i'm in the birthday boys bathroom right now i'm gonna do a quick wardrobe change and then turn off for the rest of the night it's been a good day it's been a very successful eventful tiring day but now time for some more fun a lot of movement but we made it catch y'all in the next video peace out